Malaria was eradicated in the United States more than a half century ago, but it's still a hazard for many Americans. Service members who travel to areas susceptible to malaria are a target for the mosquito-borne illness. Air Force Master Sergeant George Maurer has the latest on the fight. All it takes is a single bite from one of these, a mosquito infected with malaria. 40% of the world's population lives in malaria endemic areas areas where U.S. service members are deployed to fight another enemy. But the military is also waging a war against malaria. An infected mosquito will bite a person and inject the parasite is what we call sporozoites, and they will be in the blood, stay in the blood, and then migrate to the liver. At the Navy Medical Research Center in Maryland, doctors have spent years trying to stop the invisible enemy. Here the mission is simple. We do want to develop a malaria vaccine, nothing else. A vaccine would mean an end to immunizations for service members and the hundreds of thousands of deaths around the world each year. Indications of even 40, 50 percent better than a, a control or a placebo in say an animal malaria study. We get really excited about that. And there has been good news. The irradiated sporozoid vaccine and that shows better than 90 percent. It's a radiated strain of malaria that's inoculated into humans by mosquito. Between 90 and 95 percent protected for like six months time. We think that's a wonderful vaccine so how do you if it can be made practical. You know, it's not practical to immunize everybody by letting them get bitten by mosquitoes, is it? Perhaps not, but the doctors say it's the most promising of several possible vaccines they're working on. The parasite in the weakened stage, as a result of the, the irradiation, the gamma radiation that it's exposed to, stops at the liver and it sets up a beautiful immunity. Navy researchers hope while this vaccine goes through experimental stages, they can see more people participating in the clinical trials. Air Force Master Sergeant George Maurer, Pentagon Channel News.